Welcome back to the Cyberspace Virtual Reality YouTube channel. Uh, yeah, one second plug, subscribe. Yeah, that's all. Yep. <laughs> all right, let's let's get on to it. We've got an interesting video. We were we were just looking through some some YouTube VR news articles, things like that, and we saw some interesting things about uh, like can people spy on you through VR? Uh, and that got us thinking. Like, can they? And we were like, <laughs> no, probably not. But we we kind of wanted to make a video about it because. Right. There's a lot of creepy things out there with like people hacking your ring camera or maybe your webcam, things like that, and being able to watch you. So we wanted to make a video talking about why this probably isn't something that you need to worry about. But And then we'll also talk about some of the things that you could worry about. Right. You know? So uh, just to start off, hacking something and like getting access to uh, a webcam or something like that, that takes work. Right, you have to come up with solutions for it. You have to come up with something that'll work on most people, um, and most people need to have a webcam, you know, hooked up to power and the internet all the time. So that alone is there's a lot of barriers to entry. So the reason why people choose that is because almost everybody that has a computer has a web camera. So then they choose to hack that, or um, it's always connected to the internet. Right, it's always connected to the internet. And then ring cameras are the same thing, right? Like a lot of people have ring doorbells. A lot of people have cameras in their home, um, security cameras, and those are all connected to right the worldwide internet. They're not a closed system; it's a, it's an open system, and so you know people with malicious intent can gain access to those because there's a lot of people, and they're like, okay, I can come up with a solution to get access to a lot of people's data. Yeah. So yeah, you want to go ahead and apply that? Yeah, VR? sure. So let's talk about VR, right? There's a lot less people that own VR as opposed to uh, cameras, right? Or like like a ring camera or webcams. And then the other problem with that is these cameras are pretty poor quality, right? Like the only reason you can have the full view when you're in VR doing the grid setup is because there's four of them working together using the software. And you know, if it's sitting on a table, you're instantly losing half of that. And the two main ones I'd say for seeing that collect all that data. So this camera alone would, like let's say this is sitting on my desk, someone get, gains access to this. They may or may not have a view of your home. Um, it's probably it like sitting away in a container. And then not only that, but there's very few people relative, you know, relative to like web cameras that have virtual reality. So if I was somebody that was looking to hack people's data, right? I was looking to gain access to um, maybe their conversations, their passwords, whatever. I would not be going for a VR headset. Um, you know, it's probably not even plugged in most of the time. Like if you have a PC based VR one, um, it's just not lucrative for me. I would just go for the webcam, right? There's a lot easier prey out there than someone with a VR. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And that's why we wanted to make this video because I, maybe this isn't a big concern to people right now, but as this stuff becomes more prevalent, people are gonna be like, hang on, like, right. weird. You know, because I see people, I go to college and I see people, almost half the people there have their webcam covered. Yep. Right? Like they have a little sticky note over it or something. I personally don't. I, I, it doesn't worry me as much, but I know that people are worried by things like that. There's a lot of crazy stuff that I don't think we understand yet that goes on. Yep. And uh, I don't know. So we wanted to make a video. Has there been anybody that said, hey, someone hacked my VR and they could see me? No. None of, none of that has happened by this point. Could it happen in the future? Potentially. Is there any logistical reason as to why somebody would do that? Not really, as he said. It makes more sense for somebody to try, spend their time and resources to hack your hack your computer, hack your ring, mm -hmm. uh, things like that. So not something to really worry about. Potential to do that, maybe, maybe, right. maybe, maybe, maybe. But the solution to that is just put your VR in a case and then it never can't happens. Yeah, see or you. unplug it. You right, know. unplug it. Whatever. If you have the Quest, put it in the case. Or yeah, like you said. So. One thing that we did want to talk about in this video though is uh, one thing that is way more likely is that VR headsets and companies are going to kind of mine your data, right? So a lot, a big issue, hot topic right now is, is Facebook requiring you to have an Oculus account to use right. the Oculus Quest. Uh, we think, and we have said in, in other videos that a lot of this reason why it's, why it's cheaper and why they're making you do those things is because they're just going to use your data and sell it. What are your insights on that? So. Um this is a real concern and they are going to, right? There's no denying that Facebook isn't going to, they've been doing it. Even if they say they're not, they're going to. And, and 
that that's a personal thing, right? If you are super worried about them selling your data, then totally you shouldn't be getting a Facebook headset. Go get a HP Reverb. Was awesome. Yeah, go get the HP Reverb. But um, so the data that they're going to be selling is is your, maybe your motion data, um, yeah. like how fast you're moving or whatever. Uh, how you move when you move. Uh, how you, I don't really know how they could sell that. How's that marketable? But I'm sure someone out there is willing to buy it for some amount of money. And then um, what games you're playing. So if like you're playing like whatever games or you're, you're browsing information, whatever. Yeah. Um, there's a lot out there, but I just wanna, I, I wanna point out something very important about data mining, right? Like, yes, uh, targeted ads are kind of freaky sometimes, but also like, what's the worst thing, like what the worst possible use for someone using your data? Um, I guess there's blackmail if you're doing stuff that you shouldn't be doing, but like, um, let's say you're using some app and then another developer says, hey, ooh, that game is very similar to the games that we're making. Let's target ads towards that person. So like, that's like probably what's gonna happen is let's say I play Beat Saber and then someone comes out with a game like Pistol Whip, for example, came out and that's kind of similar in like the rhythm based kind of like whatever. They um, buy your data from Facebook and then they're like, okay, these are the people that really like Beat Saber. So these are the people that or this is the demographic at the very least, and these are the people we're gonna target. Yeah, so. so then they send ads to you for Pistol Whip. Yeah. So it's like, oh darn, instead of seeing like baby diaper ads, because I don't have a kid, right? Like that, so that's completely pointless to get that yeah. ad. I get ads for Pistol Whip, which are more entertaining, it's cooler, it's like, oh, that's a cool Yeah, that, that applies to me. That's, right. that's kind of the idea with data mining and, and uh, you know targeted ads and things like that. So that's, yep. to our knowledge, it's, that's really all that's gonna happen with it, so. Is Facebook spying on you? I mean, in a way, I suppose, yeah. right? Because they're, they're looking at you when you're not aware of it, getting your information, yep. probably selling it to someone else. So yeah, I suppose so. Yep. Uh, that's really where the spying comes in with VR at this point. I don't, I'm not aware of any other company, like Samsung, VR is not. Yeah, I don't think, like, I, don't, I don't see any other company doing that. Um, yeah. <laughs> if you're super concerned about that, but then you still want an Oculus Quest or an Oculus Quest 2, or even the, um, the Rift S, here's the solution. If, when you make a Facebook account, if you didn't have one before, don't do anything with your page except add your name, your real name, real name, your birthday, and I think that's it. You yeah. might you might have to throw in your uh, I don't know if gender is required, but maybe. But, but that's it. Because basically, what's going to happen is eventually they're going to say, "Hey, are you real? Verify that you're real." And you'll be like, "Yep, here's my ID. My yeah. name is this, this. Here's my birthday. I'm real." And they'll be like, "Okay, cool. Yeah, we're not going to ban your account." So yep. something and, I, there's, and they can't really yep. use your data for anything because you don't have any information on your Facebook to yep. give them. Something I'd love to point out here too is like, uh, oh my gosh, what's the, Re Ready Player One, right? So like, yeah. he's, the whole movie is like, I don't know if you can see it in the shot, but it's right. like a poster. People love that concept. They're like, oh, the Oasis is so cool. I can't wait for us to get there. It's like, well, in that book, it's required that only you can have one account, right? Like there's uh, no, I mean, there's some, like like anonymous things going on right like you can hide who you really are from the general public but the actual company in the book you can only have one account otherwise you're banned oh so like the, if you want that then that's the something that you kind of have to you gotta come to terms with or... so i i think it makes sense it's it's kind of the general progression like it, it, it there you have to lose some of that you know anonymity and not, can't say it you have to like lose the ability to be anonymous right so that you can um so, like have those great things and that there's less sketchy stuff going on right right so yeah I, I guess that sums it up if you're worried about people spying on you with your cameras on your vr headset don't worry don't worry that's yeah. not a thing if it if it ever becomes even remotely close to being a thing we will cover it for you we will let you know what's happening and how to prevent it yep don't worry about it now it's fine um and then when it comes to Facebook, Oculus, watch our other videos. We go into it a little bit deeper. Uh, sure, they're, they're probably spying on you with, with your Oculus account, things like that, in a way, in a sense. But it's really just doing it so that, you know, you can be, right, receive more ads. But what do you think? Do you have a, a different insight? Do you, are you totally ticked off at Facebook? Let us know in the comments. Uh, what do you guys think about this? This is an interesting subject to talk about. It's right. something that there's not a whole ton of information on right now, but I think there might be later. So yep. what do you think? Yeah, and I think a lot of people are really, it's really hard for them because 
this headset being $300 makes it even more tempting to kind of sell your data to Facebook, right? That's what you're kind of doing. Yeah. So it's a, it's a tough choice, but we'd love, to, lose, so. we'd love to hear your opinions. Um, subscribe for more information. We'll keep you updated. Anyway, this is the Cyberspace, and we will see you next time.